my gosh, it's so scary. I'm sure I'm like wasting a lot of the electricity, but whew, okay. This is the freaking highest, guys. Can you even can can you guys still see me? Oh my gosh. I did like it's so near. I'm so high up here. Like, oh, whoa! I can't. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. What if I fall? <sighs> okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. This is Mindy and this is my very, very first really cool desk. It's a sit-stand desk. It's my very first on the channel in my life and I feel so tall right now because I can reach the freaking ceiling. Oh, let me just... Yeah, that there it is. I reached the freaking ceiling. This is the highest setting that it can go to and I am actually kind of afraid that I'm not supposed to be sitting on my desk especially when I have a laptop, LG monitor, a light bulb as well as a heavy glass. I am so scared that this table will crumble but fingers crossed that I will be safe after this video. Okay, this is how tall I am right now. I am literally... Okay, um, and I had to step on this stool to actually climb up here otherwise I wouldn't have gotten up here at all and this is hella scary but I feel like if the table is okay I should be fine right there's always going to be a risk so <laughs> I will be reducing the height downwards and we'll see what happens okay okay oh my gosh I'm so scared uh, this is the downward button and I'm going to press it okay Oh my god, oh my gosh, I can literally feel me going downwards. Of course, of course. I am so scared though. Okay, um, so I have always been a fan of sit-stand desks, but there are not a lot of options here. There are definitely way more options in the States. This is called the Omni Pro Desk. It's actually from the gaming company called Aftershock. So, the specs of this desk, I'm so excited. Okay, so the one that I got is the 60 inch desk because it fits my room. It gives me more space around the room to film other stuff. It doesn't take up a lot of space and it's actually perfect for me because I only have a one monitor set up along with my laptop. So, 60 inch is perfect for me and I am trying to keep it as neat as possible so that it doesn't clog up, it doesn't get messy, it doesn't make my mom go mad when she sees how messy my desk is. I got the straight edge desk instead of the curved ergo one because it feels like there is more space when it's straight than when it's curved. And besides that, I have everything black. The white honestly didn't look really appealing. So black just, you know, it matches everything, it's simple. And I have a glass top above it because like I eat here and sometimes when I spill stuff, coffee, food, it's easy to clean up if it's like glass. And it helps to keep the wood underneath like in pristine condition. This desk has four memory presets. This actually allows you to customize to your height and what your preferences are. So the lowest that this desk can go down to is 60cm and the tallest is 125cm. This is how high it can go up to. This is about 125cm, although it writes here 128, I don't know why. I'm like 163 and yep, this is how tall it is and this is actually not good for me. Um, Not good for Ergo at all because like I can like I can barely reach it. Like, uh, it's not comfortable. Okay, but it can go down to really low as well. Um, I'm going to try going down to the lowest setting and see if the camera can catch it. Yeah, the light just turned off because like it's connected with the cable and stuff. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Okay, it's going down to my butt. It's like way down, way down. Wait, way down. Wait, wait, way down. Way down! Yeah, I feel like I can sit on it almost. Yeah, I feel like... Oh, okay, this, this is how it is like, guys. Am I like really short right now? Yeah, but yeah, this is how short this can go down to. So why did I get this desk? So if you're new on this channel, I've mentioned this a couple of times that if you didn't catch it, I have a very bad neck problem. So ergonomics to me is super duper important. My neck, if I do not take care of it, it is going to worsen so much in my 40s, in my 50s. So this is the perfect time 
not perfect, but like I should start taking care of my bad neck. My doctor actually tells me that I need to move around my neck more. She said if my neck is so stiff, it will actually strain the muscles and that's why I have neck problems. She said like you have to fix your ergonomics and I took it really seriously and also because I love tech, that is why I got this beautiful desk right here. And I, I love it. I love to move around, I love to switch positions. When I'm tired of sitting on my desk to work, I usually go on the bed and lie down and just type there. According to my doctor, that is bad. <laughs> because somehow, I, I don't know, she said like my spine was actually crooked because I did that. She said it strains your back in a way. So like with this desk, I actually avoided problems because I get to stand up and work on this baby. And I think that's pretty good because it helps me close my Apple Watch ring. Okay, no, I'm kidding. When I move around more, when I stand up, when I'm more active, I feel like things like energy is flowing. I don't know, that's just me. I, I'm not sure if you guys feel the same. Do you, do you guys feel the same? I feel like this is an investment towards my posture, towards my health. So this is one of the key reasons I got this besides it being super cool. And because this is new to me, ah, I'm so happy about it. And I'm incredibly grateful that I get to share this with you guys. I'm at my desk a lot, like a lot. I'm like editing, working, writing, binge watching shows, eating, and like all sorts of things. And I'm sure some of you guys may experience the same thing, especially if you're going to school or if you are an editor, you're a photographer. So this is an option you may want to consider if you're at your desk a lot and you want to maintain good posture, good ergonomics. Because like honestly, I, I know ergonomics is so important, but it's only now when I start to like pay attention more to it because I don't know, I was just a dumb kid. <laughs> so this is not my official desk setup because it's not complete yet. I just wanted to show you guys my new desk, the Omni desk, the sit-stand desk that I love so much and I hope that it may help you if you're actually selecting or buying new furniture for your office or for your kids or for your home office or for whatever you need it. <laughs> so the only thing missing from this desk setup to make it complete, to make it ideal is a monitor stand, a monitor arm. I am currently eyeing on the LG Ergo stand that was released, that was showcased in CES 2020 and I'm going to put in some footage here for you guys to see but basically it's super clean and it saves space off your desk and that is something that I feel like I want to get but it's not released yet so I don't know when I can film the full desk setup thing and I may also get light strips for the back of my desk but to be honest that's just to make it look pretty and it may not be necessary but like I know it can be like really awesome and cool it's just an ideal desk setup but We'll see if we get it. If there's one thing I have to say to end this off is that this desk is not just cool. Ergonomics is health. So please take care of your health. Don't get into situations like me where I have a bad neck problem that is super annoying that like is... Yeah. Oh, I can go on and on about my neck but let's not and just take care of your health, take care of your ergonomics and make sure you stay healthy, I guess. Like physiotherapy sessions cost 160 per session. So I'm hoping that with this desk, I can stop going there. Actually, I've stopped going there. I just am like trying to fix my ergonomics, my posture so that I never have to go back to physiotherapy. Yeah. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think of this video about this desk. I would love to hear what you guys think. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because I love that you guys are here to share all these things with me and I really appreciate you guys and it really does help the channel as well so subscribe! I will see you guys in my very next video. Stay minty and cheery, goodbye for now, bye!